the first and foremost is actually thinking about this cancer. So I think anyone, and this includes pulmonologists, thoracic surgeons, um, medical oncologists, pathologists, who sees someone who has a poorly differentiated or squamous cell cancer really should think about nut carcinoma as a potential diagnosis. I think just basic recognition um, is huge for this cancer. One of the reasons we think it's so underdiagnosed is we've seen the diagnosis often missed or it's the second or third diagnosis that's made and diagnosis is often delayed by months, which is very critical time period for these individuals. Um, they all should be enrolled on a clinical trial. So I encourage doctors to work multidisciplinary, especially with their pathologists and say, hey, you know, there's a young person with poorly differentiated cancer or squamous cancer with not much of a smoking history. Should I be doing nut IHC? Is there a validated nut fish test or should I do RNA-based sequencing to really detect this fusion oncogene? And I think by identifying and recognizing that this cancer exists, uh, can we quickly uh, develop better treatments for this cancer?